Hey everybody, I got a small little project today. It's putting these Amazon crossbars that I purchased on the Honda. Don't mind all the wife's foo foo stuff. Well, I'm tired of not having crossbars because I want to get a cargo basket and also a cargo carrier in the future. So, depending on what trips we're taking and what needs. I can just swap them out when I want them. I'm gonna do a little bit of walkthrough on this crossbar setup because no instructions. So I figured this could help not just me in the future, but also possibly anybody who buys these Amazon crossbars for a Honda Pilot. This is, we have a 09, but according to Amazon, these will work all the way up to like a 15. Anyways, Let's get into this and let's go through a walkthrough process on this guy. All right, first thing I found out on these crossbars is these go only go on one way. After month's meeting. So, as you see, there's a definite style to these. So there's only one way that these will slide on. I need to line up the screw holes. This one is going to be not as tight, just so if I have to adjust it while it's on the car, I can, and then I'll tighten it while it's on the car. But this side, it's pretty much you can already be ready to tighten down. I'll give you this dinky little. Boys, I'm going crazy. Alright. You want help? Tighten that down. Tighten it down. Spin it to the right. Is this snuggle dad? Right Hold the bar. Your hand on the bar. Someone put their hand on the bar. I will. Hold the bar. Don't want the, I want the, don't want the bar to move. I don't care about the Allen wrench. Allen wrench needs to move. Snug, and here it goes tight. All right, now that the boys are here. So I got the, I guess eight screws and washers in. These ones are just loose still, because if I need to, it really you can't really adjust. I think it was just work just trying to set it a certain way. But they're still loose. I'll probably, once I get them up on the car, if I need, maybe a, the little bit of wiggle room will help. Now it's uh, getting these uh, pieces all in these slots right here. And my youngest is dumping water out. Corbin, that's a waste of water bottles. Can you stop wasting the water? I would like to drink the water, but can you stop wasting the water? All right, I got the crossbars all assembled. It's a little later in the day because I'll let it get going. But let's pretty much put these pieces in. You can't really see because of the light now. Okay. So those are in already. Um, I did describe this wrong. You want the fatter side to be in front, kind of like an airplane wing, and have the thin side on the back. He's right here. Should so. 
just like so. Back and forth, back and forth. Really don't know any other way if there's an easier way to do this or not. It's getting done. That's not good. Yeah, there's a little dot right there, and there's another one on the back side here. This pretty much, from what I've looked up on, tells you where to try to line up these crossbars. So, yeah. Don't know of any other real easy way on uh, getting them into place, besides just going back and forth like I just did. Maybe it's something that pushes in the middle, but I don't got that ladder. I got a little step stool and just going in the car doors. But didn't take too long. Probably, um, besides we, I left earlier and didn't finish this. Probably all together like 30 minutes. So let's just make sure this other side's tightened up too. Ooh. It's the door frame. This side is the one I need. Make sure it's fully tightened. Uh, I'll do that in a little bit. Let's get this back on and then I'll get these covers back on. It's funny watching my little head just bobble across. I am not a tall person. the middle that's what was recommended and so that's what I did but there you go both crossbars on 
put it on. Just to make sure I get these tightened on both of these. One last thing before I get this all wrapped up. There's a small little hole right in there. I don't know if you can see it. But pretty much that is a... I'm gonna put the screw in there. I already got one on that side. But it's just a case like if something slides back. Not just these covers, but you all have screws in there so it stops them from going back. So it's like a kind of like a fail safe. So. There's a screw. So I have it protruding out a bit. So if these rails get loose and they come sliding back, there's screw on this side and the other side underneath the cover. So it can catch these rails without coming out. And they're just leftover screws. They didn't come in the box. Alright. Well, I hope that helped anyone who got the same ones I got and did not have any kind of instructions to go along with them. So that was a quick easy project. It was 30 minutes probably all together. Quick assembly and then put them up there. I did do some research on exactly like the best way to get them assembled and to uh, which way to line them you want the more fatter round piece at the very front to go down at the very back like an airplane wing and that is just so it, it's more art aerodynamic. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.